Hello, my name is Professor Janelidze. I am the coordinator of the Mathematical Sciences program in the Faculty of Science at Stellenbosch University. One of the unique features of the Mathematical Sciences program is the diversity of mathematical subjects that it offers. We have mathematics, we have applied mathematics, uh, computer science, operations research, mathematical statistics, biomathematics, financial mathematics, and within mathematics we also have a sub-subject which we call the abstract mathematics. The permittable subject combinations are organized into streams. Uh, for example, there is a stream in mathematics and there is a stream in computer science. Uh, there is also a stream in applied mathematics and also in all the other main uh, mathematical science subjects. Uh, for each of them there is uh, a stream where that subject is the, the main subject of study and uh, in that stream you are able to combine the study of the subject with other subjects that are elective um, and uh, by uh, the third year uh, direct your choices in such a way that you will be majoring in the principal mathematical science subject as well as a second subject which could be uh, within mathematical sciences or, or not. It is also possible to have a double major in mathematics within the, uh, the mathematics and the abstract mathematics streams. In very broad terms, mathematics is the study of function. Uh, it turns out that uh, our universe is organized in such a way uh, that um, once we forget the particular objects um, and instead just focus on their function, um, so we are forgetting the essence of those objects uh, the way we, can, we perceive them, but rather uh, focus on how they interact with each other or with other objects. Uh, so. Uh, that's what I mean by studying the function of, of things, uh, then uh, it turns out that uh, across different types of objects uh, there is a commonality in how uh, the, the function works. Uh, and th this commonality is um, very often the starting point of a mathematical topic. And then mathematics enters deeply into it and makes a very thorough analysis of, of function. Um, there are some limitations uh, and in some sense also advantages uh, that come with this. Um, one of the requirements for a mathematical study is uh, there to be an absolute precision um, and the advantage of this is that you are able to be uh, very certain with your conclusions and the limitation is that not everything we understand at the level of depth that we can be absolutely precise uh, about it and then the less we are precise, then the further uh, we move away from mathematics. Um, every science has this uh, very precise aspect to it, and hence uh, mathematics quickly emerges there, and so mathematics is the backbone of many of the sciences. With a mathematical sciences degree, uh, you get access to a big variety of uh, career options. Uh, the thing is that mathematics is everywhere and uh, the more we advance in our technology, in our understanding of the universe, uh, the more mathematics becomes um, part of everything. And so there's a quite a big variety uh, of jobs out there that require uh, not only uh, application of some specific uh, mathematical knowledge, but also uh, the, the general mathematical skills, the skills of solving problems, uh, the skills of abstraction, the skills of uh, logical analysis of a situation, and, and so on. Uh, and uh, for such jobs, uh, mathematical sciences degree is of course uh, the, the number one choice. Uh, it is also possible to uh, continue with postgraduate studies after you complete a mathematical sciences undergraduate degree and then you can continue in 
uh, specializing in computer science or applied mathematics or pure mathematics and, and, and a lot of other options are available as well. Uh, and if you do that, then um, among the options is, is an option of becoming a researcher and specifically you could become a researcher in mathematics that would require first getting a master's degree and then a PhD degree. Um, if you are a researcher in pure mathematics, then the, the usual job you would get would be a job at the university. Uh, because of the um, fundamental nature of the subject of mathematics, doing research in mathematics uh, means uh, mainly working in, uh, in the university, especially if this is research in very, very pure mathematics. Um, you could also uh, decide to become a mathematics teacher and then having a mathematical sciences degree, of course, uh, will be a huge benefit to that.